If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. All right, y'all. I just have one other thing to say before I go to sleep. So I've been seeing like this video on TikTok. I don't know who it was, but they was talking about how men love to be with their homeboys. And they were saying that most men are like down low. Okay, ladies, I understand. Y'all feel like y'all men want to be with y'all homeboys all the time. Okay, I, I get the shit. I get it. But why are y'all not talking about how y'all be out here? Oh, I threw you for a loop. So, I just want to know why y'all feel like because y'all feel like men have this fantasy of girl on girl action that they feel like it's not an issue. But baby, let me tell you. A real man, that's an issue for a real man. Y'all think that shit cute. Like it's so sweet. Stop trying to bash men, even if they on a DL or whatever. It's the being on DL is not right. We know that so much going on, so many diseases, but this but be real with yourself. Y'all women. Well, not mean, because I ain't like that. But I'm just saying, I know some women. Y'all be out here really in a whole relationship with y'all besties in front of y'all men. And y'all think that it's so cute. But when a shoe is on the other foot, it's an issue. Oh, let's talk about it. Let's make this a big topic. No, let's talk about how y'all be out here on these girls trips doing other activities. Come on now. Like, if we going to keep it 100, let's keep it all the way 100 so i feel like a woman being on the dl is just as trifling and shifty as a man being on dl so if you don't want to talk about that issue let's not talk about no issue just let it that let let it be what it be you know what i'm saying don't be going around bashing me and talking about me and this and that like no let's talk let's talk about your old ass let's talk about what you do come on now let's let's keep this let's keep this all the way 100. so for these women, y'all out here screwing y'all friends, y'all besties. Hey, hey, don't worry about what that man doing. Baby, just know if your man is, baby, leave him alone, whatever you want to do. But at the end of the day, it's double standards. And yet again, this is another topic that when I look online, right, when I look at society and when I look at, you know, the climate that we're in, right, where we have men saying this we got women saying this right and it's always this back and forth as i've told you guys before women will always point out a lot of things wrong that men are doing and as she stated a man that is on the dl is wrong right it shouldn't be happening right people should just be honest with what it is that they are doing not only for themselves but also for the people that they are messing with because you're not only putting your own life in jeopardy but you're putting the life and somebody else's health in jeopardy because you want to do things right in the shadows right but get back to the main point is that as she stated and i'm glad it was a woman that stated this because as i stated before men have stated things like this before and magically when men say it, it's like ah oh, y'all don't got the right to say it y'all don't got the right to speak on us fix the stuff that y'all got going on and and da 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 and even if y'all fix all that y'all still can't talk about us so this is why i love it when women say this because those women ain't gonna have nothing to say you're not gonna sit up and tell another woman or like oh fix. you can't because she's a part of the same species she's a part of the same section right and she's talking about the wrongdoings that y'all are out here doing. But y'all don't want to be honest about it, though. You know how many women are out here that are rolling around as bisexual? You know how many women out here are trisexual means that they will try anything once? Do, do you know how many of those women are out here? You know how many stories I've heard of women being in the workplace and other women trying to try another woman? trying to rub up against her trying to brush up against her trying to come on to her trying to fill on her arm 
who said that that was an okay thing to do who said that that woman that you're trying to try or trying to figure out who said that that woman is even interested in other women like i said before the double standard that is there because we all know if it was a man that did everything that i just listed to a woman is going to be sexual harassment it's going to be lawsuits women are going to be picketing his name and his address and his family is going to be all over social like everything everything is going to happen and then last but not least you're going to have the ones in the back the guys coming through like oh we sit up there and protect women out here uh, uh we about to sit up there it's morphing time right they're going to sit up there and show up and try to bust this dude up but yet i never hear of groups of women like, yo, we about to stand up for other women out here who this happens to, and we're going to sit up there and get somebody fired. We're going to make this person known. No, nah, because a lot of y'all are in on it. A lot of y'all are in on it. Like she said before, it's funny how y'all want to talk about the guys doing stuff wrong, but when y'all doing the exact same thing, and you're doing it directly in front of the guy that you're with, and y'all want to sit up there and think that is cute, but when the shoe is on the other foot, now you want to start crying. Now you want to start boohooing. Now you want to sit up there and figure everything is a problem. But you've been doing this since before you met the guy and also during the relationship. But yet only one person could be wrong, yet only one person could be right. And you're going to make sure as a woman that you're always right, no matter even if you are wrong. And then you're going to have other women that are within your circle, within your flock, that are going to enable this type of behavior. Be like, oh man, he, he that he, he was just wrong. He was just insecure. It is what it is. You just need to sit up there and find you a, a better man that's that's less insecure. He's just jealous and all. Like I said, like I said, the, the, the whole thing is completely crazy. The whole thing is completely crazy. And the other thing, like I told women before, let me go back to something that um I mentioned way back when I was younger. I'm talking about like how was I? Probably about like. 20 20 21 somewhere up in there right story time so when i was younger right i was in a relationship with somebody who was bi right and um she ha had one or maybe two right uh women that she was you know with and whatnot right and um Y'all know I'm, I'm pretty much a, a, a nice guy, you know, whatever it is, is you know, it is whatever it is, right? And uh, slowly but surely, I sat up there and started noticing some, some, you know, some weird type of stuff. It, it wasn't weird on the girl that I was with, and it was weird on the other girl. Because the other girl was trying to feed nonsense into the, the, the mind of the girl that I was with. Right, because she specifically wanted to be with the girl that I was with. And she didn't want her to basically be with me. So that fits within the whole aspect of, in a sense, women who don't, in a sense, have the best interest for you. Right? Because if you have women that actually care for you, and, and that are actually for and about you they want to in a sense see you happy they're going to call you out and correct you exactly you know when you are wrong and you have a lot of women out there uh who are quote unquote another woman's best friend and they are so infatuated with that woman that they would do anything right to take that woman away from somebody else including trying to feed another person lies, including trying to break up that relationship, including trying to um, enable or try to start some type of bad behavior, some type of bad thought process in order to get specifically what it is that they want in. Like I told y'all before, for a lot of women, y'all got women out there that are amongst y'all that want to just be there just to sit up there and see you fail. Right. They'll be there to, to cheer you up and all that other type of stuff when you fail. But when you're successful, they're not really there. Right. To benefit you. They're not really there to celebrate in that celebration. Magically, they off doing their own thing. Magically, they busy. Magically, they can't see nothing. Right. But when they're up, when they're doing good and you're down. Now they want to sit up there and come in like the angel from heaven. Oh, you know, it's going to be OK. You know, look at how things, you know, turn up for me. I'll sh I'm sure that things will sit up there and work out for you maybe one day. Right. Like I said before, 
<laughs> a lot of y'all women don't know the women that y'all got around y'all up until y'all know. And some of y'all will find out when it's way too late, when y'all got, quote unquote, the perfect relationship and that best friend don't got nothing going. And she going to sit up there and try to ruin your marriage. She going to try to ruin your friendship. She going to try to ruin your engagement. She's going to really try to ruin any and everything by trying to put those little things. Oh, maybe I don't really think that he's as good as he is. Uh, 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 I, 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 he, he made me think of my ex and how he treated me and what he was doing. Oh, he seemed like your uh, your third ex, uh, Terrence, and you know, and all the stuff that he was sitting up there doing. Remember that? Yo, it's the, the the man that you with, he got some of those characteristics right there. You need to be on the lookout. Matter of fact, girl, I sit up there and look out for you. Like that's what I'm saying. But like I said before. Y'all not going to call out your own girls on that BS because some of y'all are basically in love and infatuated with the very same women who are trying to sit up there and tear apart the relationship that y'all are with. And let it, yet again, as the black woman stated, a lot of y'all own that BS and y'all own that double standard BS. And y'all want to try to sit up and say, oh, there are no double standards, but there's only double standards when it happens to what men are doing versus what women. Nah, son, there's double standards all around. But the main thing is the double standards that benefit women. Nobody wants to sit up there and, and try to shut those down. <laughs> nobody wants to try to come at those in the, in, the, in the type of way to try to shut those down to, quote, unquote, even the playing field. Right. Because realistically, men don't care. We understand that there are double standards. We understand life is unfair. That just is what it is. And we make do with what it is that we got. We ain't going to sit up there and try to game and cheat the system in order to sit up there and get our way up there. We either going to make it or we're not. Like I said, men can sit up there and handle L's when it comes to real life situations. We can't. I'm not talking about extenuating circumstances like people like the list. Oh, but what about what this guy did? And this, I ain't talking about all that. You're talking about extenuating circumstances. I'm talking about guys in general who are day and night sitting up there taking L's and waking up and continuing doing the, 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 doing the same thing, trying to sit up there and get better, trying to figure out a game plan. Like I said before, like, yo, people need to, you know, learn how to stay on topic, learn how to stay focused. But I understand when people start taking L's, they don't want to sit up there and stay on topic. They want to start, you know, trying to flock to, to, to something else that they got a leg to stand upon. It's cool. But like I said, I appreciate women out here who are honest and that are ready to call out other women and, uh, you know, create like a topic and a conversation around issues like this.